Hi, it's Will from StormtheCastle.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a Spartan War Helmet. Uh, and here, let me cut in to show you the finished product. Okay, that's what the finished helmet looks like, so we're going to build that, and all we're going to make it out of is uh, cereal box cardboard and paper mache. A little bit of work involved, and it takes some time because of the paper mache drying. We want to make more than one coat, but here, let me go over the materials you need to do this. Some newspaper, 16 ounces of water, some salt, two cups of flour. That's to do the paper mache. Now, to make the actual helmet, you're going to need a few things here. You're going to need a balloon to, to make this, the bowl of the helmet head. You're going to need masking tape, scissors, a pencil, some paints. You can use either brush on paints or spray on paints. I'm going to use gold and silver, although I may use a little black. And you need two box, two cereal, two empty cereal boxes. And you need um, this printout, this three page printout that I have on my website of the templates that you make. See the, um, the helmet is made up of four pieces, the bowl for the head and then the three pieces that make up the, the face guard, the neck band and the neck guard. And I will show you how to do that. What you do is <clears throat> print those up and then you put them on your cardboard like this and you cut them out. But the thing is, one thing is I wanted to show you is for this one piece, this piece here, this is actually two sides. So what to do is take your cardboard, fold it in half, put this on here so as the nose piece right here along the front is right on the fold. And then you draw it out and cut it out. So it ends up looking like this. So I've cut that out already. And then it's the fold is right there. So when you open it up, it looks like that. Okay. And then you have the other two pieces here. The other two pieces here. So now we've got our three pieces of our helmet. And I'll show you how to assemble those. And what you do is you take the neck band, the center piece here, with the point up and tape it to the face plate like this. See it? Now that's starting to form our helmet there. So now take, take this and put it on your head and size it and make it a little big, give yourself a little bit of room sort of, so you'll be able to slide this on and off your head. And then tape it up real good. And then you take this bottom, this uh, neck guard, and you tape it to the, to the neck band. And you start in the center here. See how that's starting to take shape now? You've got the piece, the neck guard, the neck band, and the front. Now I'm going to tape this a little more and I'll show it to you when it's all done. Tape it up nice and strong. Okay, once you've got your three pieces taped together very nice, take your balloon and put it inside and blow it up to the, so it fills it up really nice. But um, the thing about the helmet is your, your head is not, the sh is not a perfect sphere. So you don't, and the balloon is going to come out to be too close to a perfect sphere. sphere. You want it to be distorted a little bit. So put the, the blow up um, hole of the balloon in the back and put a couple of wraps of tape on this so it squashes this helmet this way just a little bit. See, so you want this a little bit narrower so the tape will squash that in a little bit. And that way it will fit on your head correctly. So now we're ready to paper mache. Cut yourself off. A whole lot of strips of newspaper, one to two inches wide. There's plenty of them. Do that ahead of time. Then you, uh, you put two, two cups of flour, two cups of water, one tablespoon of salt, and the salt acts as a, as a preservative to keep your paper mache from getting moldy, and then stir it up until it's nice and rich consistency. You soak it in the, you soak it really well in the 
flour and water mix and then you clean it off like this and clean off all the excess and then apply it to the helmet like that. So you don't want it to be soaking wet when you put it on. Uh, a couple of things, take your time when doing this and remember the shape here, this is going to be inside here. You'll have to look at mine to get a good idea of how you're going to make it. And also, you know, you want it to be nice and crisp because this is metal. The helmet is metal. So you want everything to be nice, and crisp and sharp. You don't want it to be too wrinkled. And it's going to take more than one coat. So do a nice coat overlap all your pieces like this. Make sure you get plenty of overlap. At least half of each piece goes over another piece. Try to get two thick layers on there for now. Let it dry overnight and then put another layer on in the following day. Um, it's three coats of paper mache over the course of three days. I put a coat on and let it dry. I put another coat on. It did that three times. So now what I got to do is um, sand it down a little bit to make it nice and metallic in shape. Uh, get a little bit of um, rough. It's a little rough, so the sanding will help that. Take your time with the paper mache. Do at least three coats. I say do four coats <clears throat> if you want it to be really strong. And always overlap your paper mache a lot. So at least one third of one piece is covered by a third of the next piece. And just keep doing that and continue to shape it. And as you're paper macheing it, I see how it got this nice curve here. Kind of got a nice shape to it. You you can you can mold that. Okay, there's the completed uh, Spartan helmet, the medieval ar medieval helmet there, and um, I had I had a lot of fun doing it, but it took quite a bit of work, you know, like I said, three days, and it's painted here. I painted it uh, gold, and you can paint it bronze if you want to make it really accurate, paint it bronze, and then I, sp I, sprat I spattered on little bits of black and a little bit of silver, you can see that, so the black added a nice effect, and then I coated it with a clear coat, a sealant. So it came out pretty good, but um, I highly recommend a couple of things. You uh, make sure you do at least four coats of paper mache to make it strong enough, and um, <clears throat> you know make sure when you're doing the paper mache, you clean up after yourself and you you, you lay out newspapers or something because the paper mache does make a mess and you're going to use a lot of it. So that was a fun project. There are plenty more stuff coming on my website www.stormthecastle.com. And um, and a note about this, about this, the 300, the Spartans, Thermopylae, and you know Spartan warriors. Um, I've already booked my next trip. I'll be going to Greece, and one of the places I will definitely be stopping is the actual battle scene at Thermopylae, the hot gates at Thermopylae. So, in the future, not too distant future, I will have some probably have some great videos of that. So you might want to stay tuned and watch for those. Uh, uh, thanks.